Now let's save the layout. First, I'll go to the Save As option under the File menu and type in a name for the layout. I want you to notice that the default file type for Photoshop or Photoshop Elements is a PSD file. A PSD file is a layered file. I'll save it as a PSD first. Next, I'll save the layout as a JPEG because that is the type of file most commonly used for printing or uploading into a gallery on the internet. Digital scrapworkers also use JPEGs to email our layouts to family and friends or to use our blogs. Once I hit the Save As button, another dialog appears. This is where I select the quality level of the file. 10 creates great images, so I'll use that. Now I'll open the JPEG file. You'll see that I have two files, a PSD file and a JPEG file. There's the PSD file and here's my JPEG. I'm going to resize it now so that I can block it, upload it to a gallery, or send it through email. I'll browse this path. Image, Resize, Image Size. I'll change the resolution to 72. I'll change the width to 600. Because I have the Constrained Proportions option checked, Photoshop Elements automatically resizes the height of the layout correctly. I'll save my file again. I make sure that I change the name so I can remember that this is a web version. I hope you have fun making easy pages. Want to learn more? It's easy for you to learn all of the tips and tricks you need for making more complicated pages, your own supplies, to edit your photos, and more through the complete tutorial series named Scrapbook Software Secrets Revealed. It's available for Photoshop Elements, Photoshop, and PaintShop Pro in the ScrapRails.com boutique.